A troop of young dancers show members of the Scottish Parliament some well-practiced moves at the tramway in Glasgow. They're just back from a series of shows in Belgium, one of the many overseas performances this group has staged in the 19 years it's been in existence. Independence, I think, represents um, the best you know, in Scotland. We do it, and we do it really, really well. So independence are great. Um, you know, they're a great example of inclusive dance, and we should be proud of it. We're the European Committee in the Scottish Parliament, and what we're looking at is Scotland's place in the world and how we influence that. And this strand of the inquiry is all about, you know, Scotland's international relationships. Is there anywhere else outside of Europe you think you would like to go and dance? Yes. Would you like to go, Adam? New York, like Broadway. Oh. I really enjoyed myself today, and I'm really impressed with what you've done. And let me congratulate you. Shake your hand. Thank you. Well done. Thank you for coming to see us. It was a pleasure to be with you today. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Thanks for coming to see us. My pleasure. This is the type of thing that this inquiry is looking at, how Scotland connects internationally. You know, the things that we do in the world and we take to the world and we learn from the world. So that's what we want um, to learn from you, um, whether it's a professional group, whether it's a college or a university or even a local group. If you're involved in something that takes Scotland's culture in whatever manner that is to the rest of the world, we want to hear from you. We want to know how you do that, why you do it and the benefit from it. What international activities are happening in your sector or organisation now? What gets in the way when it comes to engaging internationally? What would help make you more effective in participating in overseas activities? What do you think organisations in Scotland should do to make an impact internationally? You can get in touch with us by email, by post or through social media. We need to have your views by Friday, April the 17th. You can get further information about the committee, our work and how to submit evidence on our webpage. We're looking forward to hearing from you.